as the conflict between Israel and Hamas continues and key players in the Israel-Palestine issue are actively involved, the entire world is feeling the impact. Here's the latest update which could contribute to efforts to end the conflict, where now Israel has agreed to resume ceasefire talks with Hamas on August 15th following a request from US, Qatari and Egyptian mediators, according to a statement from Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu's office on August 8th. The statement noted that Israel will send a delegation on August 15 to finalize the details of the proposed deal. Mediators from Qatar, Egypt and the US have urged both sides to address any remaining issues and start implementing the agreement immediately. The talks are expected to take place in either Doha or Cairo where Hamas has not yet responded. A US official cited by Reuters said there are concerns that the agreement might not be signed by next week due to unresolved issues such as the sequence of exchanges between Hamas and Israel. The officials also mentioned that the joint statement was not meant to influence Iran, though any escalation could jeopardize the deal. Iran's mission to the United Nations stated that it is focusing on two priorities – securing a lasting ceasefire in Gaza and addressing the assassination of former Hamas leader Ismail Haniyeh in Iran on July 31st. On August 8, Israeli airstrikes intensified, resulting in the deaths of at least 40 people in Gaza, including Arburais and Al Nusrat camps, Gaza City and Khan Yunis. Later in the day, bombings of two schools east of Gaza City killed 15 and injured 30. But let's hope for the best.